Hello and welcome to Jelly Bear Studios. Last episode, we walked down the memory lane and talked about a very ancient video game console. Today, let's come back to the present, or even look out the future to a little bit to talk about a very cool VR headset. And that is the Oculus Quest 2, or maybe I should call it Meta Quest 2. Arguably, this is the first commercially available VR headset that brings the high VR experience to the masses. We're going to talk about a few good and not so good games, as well as some casual apps for everyday lives. So let's get started! The Quest 2 was first launched in October 2020, where they made a bunch of improvements from the Quest 1. For example, the screen has a lot of high resolution, they also bump up the refresh rate to 120Hz. It has a long, powerful processor that's tailored for VR, and the headset is touch lighter. They added hand tracking, and the check out all these front cameras, which users provide the pass-through views. So in case you want to check out your surrounding really quickly while in the immersive experience, you can simply tap on the side. The only downside compared to the Quest 1 is that they changed from OLED to LCD, so don't get a true black anymore. Well, enough about the specs. Let's try it on and see how it feels. The first thing is to draw the boundary of your play areas. Alright, woohoo, we're in! Look at this experience! Wow, it's pretty much the vibe that uh, Mark Zuckerberg showed in his intro video of Metaverse, right? Except missing the barbecue sauce. <laughs> well, you can see as I'm getting closer to the boundary, it was warning me, and if I actually do end up sticking my head out like this, you can see I automatically turn on the pass-through view to show me what's around me. All right. Another thing we haven't talked about are these cool controllers. And they can be customized by each developer to tailor to their games or apps. And the really cool thing about Oculus 2 is now if I put on the controller, you can see my hands now becoming the controllers. The way to use them is like to pinch like this to confirm my selections. I can open the apps menu. Well, I'm have to complain a little bit. I cannot really swipe like this to move it. Or in reality, I have to go find the scroll bar and pinch from here to swipe like up and down to find my games. Well, that is kind of the first experience of the Oculus landing. All right, let's play some games. The first game I want to play is Beat Saber. It's such a great game that I literally fell in love with after the first round. It made me feel like a real life Jedi. How cool is that? No wonder it's the most popular game on the platform. All right, we're in the Beat Saber now. So let's choose the solo game and choose a song. All right. So the, the point of the game is to cut these cubes with your lightsaber with the, the, the direction the cubes point to like this how cool is that well this one Well, that's the first round. Failed. Let's try it again. Let's move on to Full Ninja. I'm sure many of you have played it on smart devices before, and luckily they have brought this awesomeness to the VR world already. It plays similar to Beat Saber in a way, but it's less stressful as you won't die quickly if you miss things. It's also a less rhythm feeling and more relaxed. So I definitely give it a 10. Let's give it a try. 
All right, we're in the Fruit Ninja. Looking around. Ooh, pretty cool. There's a quite a board. All right, let's get started. Let's choose this watermelon. watermelon. And you can see these controllers are customized to be this kind of board. Oh, and this flying machine is trying to shoot fruits to me. Oh, my skills rusty. Need to get really, get really serious about it. Ooh. <laughs> is that? I need to turn around. Oh, last three. I'm really good at it. Woo. Still no misses. Look at that. Wow, two machines now. Definitely trying to cut off them. Ooh. Ooh. Isn't it feels pretty real? Wow, that blueberry looks really like I was gonna eat them. So fresh. Can you turn around? Ooh. Last four. Hey. Hi Sorry, I'm almost missing. Oh. oh no, it's a bomb. Oh man. I forgot you're not supposed to cut the bomb! Now let's switch gear a little bit to talk about shooting games. The first one I want to introduce is called Super Hot. Similar to any other shooting games, it is about shooting others while not dying, but the hook is in the game. Time only moves when you move. And some actions like shooting a gun makes the time moves even faster, so it helps you be very creative. Let's take a look! Now we're in super hot and you see the landing experience is a weird computer room. You can look around all oh, these cool stickers. <laughs> Again, the sound effect plus all this close to real life feelings really gives brings the video game to another notch, right? Okay, well, I need to first put the disc into a computer. So which one should I choose? Look at my hand, huh? Well, let's choose don't die. Choose don't die. In there. Ring. I also need to put a helmet on, so we should just grab with my hand like this and ooh, that'd be off. Alright. Again, quietly pick up the phone because the time only moves when I move. So I wanna quietly line up to that guy. Oh! See, you have to be careful. Oh, there! Woohoo! Kill the first guy. You can see. Oh, there are there two more guys coming? They're so close. Oh, what? I'm on a bullet? What? How do I get bullets? Where's my gun? What? I'm trying to whack him now. Oh, really? Really? No, wait. Ah! Next, let's cover a not so great shooting game in my opinion, Sniper Elite. Why is that? Well, number one, it is a game that makes me kind of noxious when playing, both when I'm using the free move controls and the waypoint movement. Number two, the gun control is not that great. Like, it's hard to line up the scope. Number three, it's kind of repetitive. I feel like I go to one spot to shoot a bunch of people and then I go to another spot to do almost the same in almost the same scene. Leave comments down below to let me know what you think about it. Alright, now let's switch gears to talk about the social apps. Cause after all, we're still in a pandemic and we are bringing the never before realism into our virtual social lives, which is what we badly needed, right? A lot better than staring at a flat screen, right? Keep talking and no one explodes is a great social app that's already on many platforms and it works really well on VR. The one person wears a VR headset will have a bomb in front of it and they need to disarm it without knowing how. The rest of the friends cannot see the bomb but it has the diffusal menus so they have to communicate back and forth in order to disarm it all together as a team. It works really well and really fun if you have a great teammates. But it might also backfire on you and you might start to really hate some of your friends because they're super impatient and not that clear. Well, I guess everything could be double-edged sword. Button to press. 
Is there strikes? If no strike, green. One strike, red. Two strikes, blue. Oh, I don't know. Is there strike on the menu? What do I know? I'm not. I cannot see it. Well, I'm the last page of the menu. I don't see any other thing to describe. Sorry, can't help you. The next social game I want to talk about is the famous board game Settlers of Catan. This is another great example of how VR can transform our lives in a way we never foresee before. Remember the old days? We grab a pizza and play this board game with your friends until midnight? Well, the VR experience is just as great with the friends that are not next to you, but pizza can still be. The bonus point you are surrounded by this cool medieval decorations and when you trade and build, there are also cool sound effects. The last app I want to introduce is one that hasn't been reviewed much, but it's one app that you can spend countless time relaxing with, and that is Netflix. So just put your headset on, lean back, and enjoy this awesome in-house movie experience. It is pretty quiet as well, in case you don't want to disturb others. Alright, have you fallen in love with the Quest 2 yet? Have you experienced enough of these fascinating changes and excitement a VR headset brings to our lives? The last pro tip, especially for the ladies, don't wear the VR headset for too long or too tight, because otherwise you get a wrinkly face. Well, if you like videos like this, I would love to see your comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your host Little Bear. Until next time, signing off.